why the gunpowder treason should ever be forgot. Hello and welcome to History and Review. I'm your host, Captain Rutledge, and these are my humble lodgings. In November of 1605, a plot was hatched by a group of angered Catholics to dismantle the Protestant monarchy of England and reset the old Catholic regime. Their actions would forever be remembered in history through the British holiday of Guy Fawkes Night. But what connection do, is Guy Fawkes to the plot, and how was it all going to happen? Queen Elizabeth I ruled over England for 45 years, and during her reign made Catholicism punishable by death, although many priests and clergy practiced mass in secret. As she was on her deathbed in 1603, the Earl of Salisbury arranged for Elizabeth's cousin twice removed, James VI of Scotland, to be next in line for the throne of England, being Elizabeth's closest Protestant relative. Compared to his cousin and predecessor Elizabeth, James was more tolerant of Catholics, but was nonetheless a Protestant and a target for assassination by Catholics all over Europe. Robert Catesby, a minor Catholic nobleman who took part in the Essex Rebellion, conceived a plan to assassinate King James and most of the Protestant nobility during the King's visit to the House of Lords. Upon his demise, King James's nine-year-old daughter, Princess Elizabeth, would be kidnapped and made a Catholic queen. All the pieces were falling into place for Catesby, but first he needed to find fellow conspirators and a method to murder King James and all of his Protestant allies. Catesby employed his friends John Wright and Thomas Winter to go to the Netherlands and receive support from Spain. Along the way, Winter met Guy Fawkes, a Catholic soldier from the Southern Netherlands Army, along with John Wright's brother Christopher and Thomas Percy, a relative of the Earl of Northumberland. The group met with Catesby in London in spring 1604 to take oath and return to their homes to further formulate their plan until Parliament reconvened in February of 1605. That summer, Thomas Percy was made a member of the King's bodyguard and moved to London with Guy Fawkes posing as his servant, John Johnson. Catesby began storing supplies at his home in Lambeth, which could then be rowed across the Thames River to the Palace of Westminster. Further members were admitted to the group, including Robert Keyes and Thomas Bates, but that Christmas, the reopening of Parliament was delayed until October 3rd, 1605, due to threat of plague. In March 1605, the group leased out the undercroft of the Palace of Westminster, restoring the gunpowder. Meanwhile, threats of plague pushed the opening of Parliament further back to November the 5th. As details of the plot were finalized and gunpowder was being purchased, several conspirators had second thoughts on continuing the plans. Many of the conspirators had Catholic friends and relatives in Parliament, and their wives had shown concern as well. On the 26th of October, Lord Monteagle, the brother-in-law of Thomas Tresham, received an anonymous letter regarding details of the plot. Monteagle's letter was forwarded to King James on November 1st, and then the plot began to unravel. James was enraged over the potential assassination and gave the Earl of Suffolk consent to search every inch of the Palace of Westminster. On that Monday, November the 4th, Suffolk's men discovered Guy Fawkes guarding a pile of firewood belonging to his master, Thomas Percy, but the guards grew suspicious and arrested Fawkes, who was under the name John Johnson. While searching through the firewood, the gunpowder was discovered. When news reached the conspirators about Fawkes' arrest, most fled to the northwest. Fawkes insisted that he was acting alone, but the Lord Chief Justice found through questioning the names of the conspirators, and Fawkes gave in after extensive torturing in the Tower of London. The conspirators were discovered in Holbeachy House in Staffordshire on November 8th, and were shot dead by the company of the Sheriff of Worcester. On January 31st, 1606, 
Fox, Thomas Winter, Ambrose Rookwood, and Robert Keyes were hanged and quartered, with their body parts displayed in all four corners of the kingdom. James I continued ruling as king until 1625, when he died at the age of 58, succeeded by his son Charles. Princess Elizabeth married the King of Bohemia and became grandmother to George I of England in Hanover. William Shakespeare, a playwright for the King's Men Playing Company, was inspired by the plot to create the play Macbeth, about an unsatisfied general murdering his king in order to take the throne. In early 1606, Parliament passed the Observance of 5th November Act 1605 to commemorate the foiling of Catesby's gunpowder plot. Nowadays, Britons everywhere celebrate with large bonfires and fireworks, along with burning of an individual in effigy known as a guy. For Americans, think of the holiday as a cross between Halloween and Independence Day. Thank you all for watching, and remember to check out your local library or bookstore for more on the gunpowder plot. For History Interview, I'm Captain Rutledge. Good day.